the French Valentin Foubert. We are now with uh, the Polish team, uh, Mateusz Gruszka from uh, Zakopane. We are seeing a clear tendency. Jumps are constantly getting better and better, but with that also the results are getting closer and closer. Now we already have the top six within just 7.3 points. So just Anon is ranked among the top 11 for the moment. Adam Nischnik from Poland. Also from uh, Zakopane, three second places in the FIS Cup. And uh, is reasonably happy with his performance. 97 meters for the 17-year-old. Last year, Lati finished sixth with the team. But his first individual start looked the final round and now we are seeing uh, Tomasz Pilch, the nephew of Polish uh, ski jumping legend Adam Mawisz. Now you know where his helmet is coming from but he is also proving that he is a good ski jumper having a bit of a low in the middle of the season but now got better and better the longer the season gets. Now with 102 and a half meters. And definitely fighting for a very good position in this competition round. Kacper Juroszek from Poland. One top 10 result in the FIS Cup. Another three top 20 results in the Continental Cup. Results in the Tomasz Pilich, 93 meters for Juroszek. 17. That is actually a lot. Kacper Juroszek from Poland. Who have one man in the race for the medal with uh, Tomasz Pilich. Ah, Juroszek having a bit of a trouble moment up there. Right after leaving the table. As the jumper said, even though he was quite punctual, but... Not a calm flight phase up there. Taking third position. Ah, that, ah, that reaction of him indicates that this jump was for waste. Already started a bit uh, imbalanced and uh, then nothing you can do about that. Adam Nischnik can do about that. Then we already already finished three quarters of the Polish team and once again the jury is not having a lucky hand with their having a lucky hand uh, one meter of headwind in ever that's what you always have to have in mind when looking at the wind calculation points so no chance for that's what we know now for sure now for sure Tomasz Pilch, the Polish hope. Is he able to handle the pressure, which is surely the tough conditions out there? Uh, I feel so sorry for these guys, actually. 
They just don't have. They just don't have. Only. And he's losing out. Not only one. 